Hi guys, this is Dad from Dads Are Funny. Uh, gonna do something a little different tonight. Hopefully I don't fall off any cliffs, but what I want to do is uh, probably three things. Uh, one, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, Mary and I have been pretty, uh, I don't know, surprised I think is an understatement by the reaction that people have had to the show. We've only been doing this, uh, wow, not even really, let's see, May, June, July, yeah couple months and and uh, in a couple of months we've gone from a uh, couple subscribers to you know 1500 I think yesterday so it's you know pretty overwhelming and we're really thankful for all the views and and subscriptions and comments and suggestions and favorites and playlists and recommendations to other people that generate, you know, more views and more subscriptions. It's just been a really amazing process and really one that started, um, I'll go ahead and get started, speaking of getting started, uh, a process that started really as just a way for us to uh, kind of experiment with uh, recording uh, using fraps. We had never really done that before and certainly, uh, you know, recorded audio and almost like a, you know, a TV production with a plot and all that. We <laughs> have not done that before. Perhaps it shows. But uh, one thing to remember, too, is we're obviously, as I said before, really new to YouTube. So we're, we're learning about this as we go. And, and that could be for the better or the worse, I suppose. And, and um, we're enjoying it. And we hope you guys are, too. And we're going to keep doing it as long as uh, we're having fun, and right now uh, that's looking like a pretty long time, so we'll just see how it goes. Um, I hope you guys like the show. Clearly, um, uh, we've had lots of cool suggestions, and we've taken you up on some of them. Uh, can't take you up on all of them, unfortunately. There's not enough time and, and too many suggestions, but we're going to keep chipping away at it. I'm going to try the Dads Are Funny World with the Dads Are Funny Seed see what happens. And again, I want to say thank you. That's the primary purpose of this video. But also, the other main idea is to show you guys something called the Sortex 64-bit texture pack. Some of you may be aware of this. As a matter of fact, one of our subscribers' is, is, uh, channel is where I saw this. And I believe that's Josh Wright 77 if I remember correctly, uh, had a video with the Sortex texture pack. And in case you have not seen that video, or you don't know anything about this, uh, I'm going to show you, as a matter of fact, right now. Uh, what I want to do is is have you guys comment on whether or not you would like us to film using this texture pack. I'm not a huge fan of like 128, 256-bit texture packs. They tend to be over the top, but I like this one. Uh, it's written by a guy, or I should say drawn, by a guy in Japan. And there's a few things that have not been updated, obviously with the events, uh, tsunami, earthquake, all that stuff going on in Japan. Uh, there's a few of the newer items, like this guy right here, that have not been updated. There you go. That's what you get for not being updated. Um, hey, hello ladies. Hold on here. Let's do what Dad does best and punch a few pigs. All right, so uh, again, I want to say thank you, number one. Number two, I want to show you guys this really cool texture pack. Now, my main purpose for showing it to you is, is, as I mentioned, to see if you want us to film using it. We are going to feature it in a short film uh, upcoming, which the whole kind of joke, or part of the joke behind the clip is that Dad and Mary are now in a movie and it's being filmed in, you know, high def, kind of like the whole three, you know, everything is in 3D now. Oh, look, I've got a pork chop. Wait, I killed all those pigs and this is all I got? Was this lousy pork chop? Ah. Anyway, um, back to reality, or perhaps not reality. Uh, okay, let's get some wood. That would be a good thing. Um, but uh, the whole idea behind the video is to is to kind of make poke fun at the whole 3D thing. But but I do really like this texture pack. You can see here the art's really nice. The leaves look cool. Let me get a little drinky drink here. It's uh, Gatorade, by the way, if you're curious. Ah, a little ah, 
exact break there. And um, and again, um, the, the the probably the other main purpose of the video is to see whether or not we can upload something longer than 15 minutes. We've had a restriction. Again, being you know new to to YouTube, you, you start off with like a 15 minute limit. And I think because we are now partners, that limit does no does not exist. But I haven't tried it yet, and until I see it happen with my own eyes, I'm not going to believe it. Pretty much like everything else that's happened with this whole YouTube thing. Um, you keep saying to yourself, I don't think that's going to happen, and then it happens. So that's a nice thing. And thanks again. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So I want your comments on the uh, Sortex pack, and there's some trees. I'd like to answer a few questions, too. Um, first, before I start, the contributors to the show... Wow, look at that. Uh, the contributors to the show are obviously myself and Mary, who play the... Um, primary characters in our show, Mary and Dad's Minecraft Adventures, which really started out as kind of an accident. Oh, more ladies. Hello, ladies. Let's see here. You know, it probably wouldn't be bad, even though now with the new update you only get one wool from these jokers if you punch them. I am ready to punch. There we go. I just need three. I want to have enough for... A bed. So that'll be nice. That'll be enough for a crafting table and a bed, plus this. And that'll leave me some left over to make some charcoal. So we're not doing too bad here. Let me get one more tree and I should be set. Uh, one thing <coughs> that I want to mention is the contributors to the show. We have, I think, the very first thing that strikes you when you come to the channel is our artwork. Um, we have really great artwork on the show, and it's all by Missy Fenstrider, and you can see her at the bottom of our page as uh, a link to her channel on YouTube. She does great art, local artist here, and on YouTube, so check out that channel, but more importantly, check out our art. It's really awesome, and if you kind of get a good vibe when you go to the channel, you'll know why it's because of her art. Now, once you get to the channel and start watching videos, you're going to see more of her art, plus uh, a few more people. We've got uh, both um, Cosimandius, who's a buddy of mine and loves Minecraft just as much, probably more, <laughs> more than I do. Uh, he made the skin for Dad, uh, and uh, I really like it. It's a reflection of me and kind of my dress style, which is shorts and a Hawaiian shirt. Uh, very formal, obviously. And um, love the art. So that's that's awesome. And he also is uh, going to be featured, he's featured in some of our videos so far with the uh, pig that's uh, kind of anxious to, to get on with it. If you recall, uh, I believe, short film number five. And uh, he also, actually, no, I'm sorry, uh, it's not short film number, number five, it's episode five. At the beginning of episode five, uh, the pig uh, uh, character, uh, one of them is played by Cosimandius, and the other, sh cause for short, and the other pig is played by a neighbor of ours by the name of Ben, and he is credited with the very clever name, Good Neighbor Ben, which, uh, of course, makes sense, I guess. Oops, there we go. And we want to say thank you to all those guys for helping out and making the show what it is. And I think one of the things... What the hell was that? Like a disgruntled viewer. Hmm. You know, um, one of the things I can really say is that all these folks that have helped us uh, have really helped us uh, in many ways, and in, in, in particular by, by kind of showcasing a, a look and feel on the channel that's cohesive and and really helps kind of portray the whole notion of the show as a theme. You know, the fact that Mary and Dad are stranded. Um, let's see here. This might not be bad. I'm going to try not to die during this show, during this uh, 
walkthrough. Now remember, keep an eye on the Sortex and tell me what you think. Oh, this isn't bad. We should try this. Make a little table here. There you go. Um, sorry. Extreme dad fail. There we go. So... Now, you're going to notice Dad do a few things like this, okay? You guys are going to have to give me a break here. Uh, I don't do that too often, but perhaps more than I'd like to admit. Now, one of the things I want to go over a little bit is some questions that you guys have asked. And uh, the first one is, can I play with you on a server? We don't actually have a server that is outside of our home. We have a local area network which we use to connect uh, two or sometimes three, but typically two, uh, machines when we when we let's play uh, together and they're on a local IP which really is not addressable outside the house. We have a dynamic IP which is assigned by our ISP and we don't use Hamachi so we really don't have any uh, you know possibility for any kind of uh, outside play unless I suppose we were to connect to a different server but clearly we're not gonna you know shoot videos on a server that's laggy and remote and we would want to do that locally. Same with the audio. We want our, our audio to be live like we're, like I'm shooting right now in order to uh, kind of meet certain standards as far as the quality of the sound uh, and, and, and certainly the presence, you know, having people, let's see here, having people on site uh, I think is a far better way, if you can, to create a, you know, a show type atmosphere where you're doing dialogue and you're interacting with characters. Now, certainly if you're just playing as yourself, like I'm doing tonight, it's a lot more casual. There's a lot, a lot less editing. And uh, speaking of editing, let me take a drink real quick. And so, you know, that's a whole different experience. But but for the show, we, we, um, we play locally and uh, we edit locally. We do sometimes dubs, which... Um, if you'll notice in the first, you know, couple of episodes we were kind of playing around, we were not very successful with the audio. And in particular, we had Mary lost her entire audio track on the first and third episodes. And we were just kind of playing around. And at that point, we were like, okay, we're finished. We're not going to do this anymore. And certainly I'm glad we didn't quit. But it was very frustrating. And what we learned was, you know, that there's obviously different ways to... To record audio and again you just really have to be careful the video you know notch has taken care of that for us that's pretty easy to do between between using uh, minecraft as an engine and fraps as a recording device uh, that's uh, that's that's not a problem you pretty much got your uh, video taken care of with without any issues but the audio you've got to be careful you've got to record um, in such a manner that uh, uh, that you get decent quality out the back end, and it's hard to fix. It's hard to reproduce. So, what the hell was that? Oh, okay. And and um, hopefully that answers that question. In other words, uh, you know how we make the videos and uh, what methods we use to record them. And by the way, this video tonight, like I said, is a is really just a primarily a a. I want to say thank you, and b. I want to I want to kind of test uh, whether or not I'm going to be able to post this beyond uh, 15 minutes. Sorry about that. And you guys can comment on the texture pack. You can also comment on whether or not you think this video just kind of really sucks. And if it, if it does, I won't make any more. But, but uh, I do want to get one of these posted at least uh, to figure out uh, whether or not that's going to be doable in the future. There we go. Get some torches going. Uh, here's uh, the lit furnace. Very nice. Nice texture. Uh, gives it a nice look, I think. Look and feel. Yikes. And the torches aren't too bad either. Let me see if I can fire one of these guys up. There we go. That's probably not bad. Let me do that. Huh. This 
this isn't said. What the? I wish I had a bow. He doesn't look too smart. Hmm. So, um, okay. Let me do a little more digging here. I kind of like this seed. Uh, but let me get back to some questions. I digress, which I tend to do. Another question that we get uh, a lot uh, is Mary really my daughter? Uh, that's a pretty good one. Um, and the answer is yes. I was going to say we hired an actress, but that uh, nobody would believe me probably if I did. But no, actually, uh, Mary is my daughter. Uh, I am her dad, and we love Minecraft. The whole family loves Minecraft. We've been playing since, uh, really, I think Minecraft got the first big pop back in uh, fall, early fall of last year late summer, early fall of last year, right before the Halloween update. So we're not, we weren't super early adopters, but we have been playing for a while. And also that's one reason, for example, take another drink here, drinky drink. Ah. You know, we don't tend to crouch. We don't tend to use charcoal. I'm doing it to, to today just because uh, it is handy when you are coal-deprived to be able to, ooh, look at that, dang, I think it's time to retreat, ooh, shit, uh, oh, you know, that reminds me, speaking of that word, when uh, Mary and I first made the episodes, um, we were really just shooting a couple of short films to learn how to use Premiere Elements and making them for friends and didn't really expect to do much with them and and we thought it would be funny to be kind of characters in Minecraft and maybe in particular my character a little bit sort of unlike the real me and in particular the very first episode you, you find that dad seems to be possibly I don't know an alcoholic or he's you can smell alcohol in his breath as he's lying on the beach uh, before uh, uh, Mary finds him, or at the time Mary finds him on the beach. And um, also, we have several scenes, uh, especially in the first two or three episodes, where there seems to be a whole lot of foul language flying around. But in fact, <clears throat> most of these are used to cover up defects in the audio. I can think of a few examples, but I'll spare you. Uh, but they make very uh, convincing masked, you know, curse words, which really aren't there. Or in some cases they are there, but it might be Mary saying, oh crap, and then I uh, cover over the word crap, and then it's left to you to decide what it is she just said. Um, and in particular in episode two, we make a point of that, because at the very end of the episode, when Dad asks something to the effect of, oh man, who taught you to talk like that? And then he pauses, and the screen goes black, and he says, oh... Like, oh, it's me. I'm the one that taught you to talk like that. So, I mean, I'm not saying the show has any real depth to it in that sense. Uh, we're not some sort of, uh, you know, weighty, uh, self-reflecting, super serious show. But I, I thought it was kind of funny because I knew that people would react to that. And, and in fact, I guess I didn't realize how much they would react to it. Uh, because we've gotten tons of comments from people... Wait a minute. Did someone just walk outside here? Okay. We've gotten tons of comments from people who are, are livid, you know. Uh, I, I can't believe you swear at your daughter. Uh, your daughter is a kid and she swears and this is terrible. And it's all fake. So, I don't know. Interesting commentary on that point. I don't know what to make of it, but it's, it's certainly fake. It's certainly funny. <laughs> and, and, uh, we don't do it as much in these later episodes because that wasn't really the whole shtick behind the show. It just happened to be something that we did when we built built those first three episodes. And to be honest, it's a pain to put that little barn owl sound in there. Um, it's difficult to do, and sometimes it's too overpowering. A lot of people didn't like it, and some people said, well, that's the whole reason I subscribed. And then so I think this the compromise there is that what we're going to do is, is that when people... Uh, in the show, Dad primarily, 
uh, says something that is a word that would normally be bleeped, we're, we're going to go ahead and keep that sound, but we're just going to diminish the volume. You're also not going to hear it very often because, frankly, there are very few cases where, where uh, something comes out of my mouth that I wouldn't put in the video. But when it does slip out, uh, it will be bleeped and will... whoops, wrong thing. Uh, it will be bleeped and we'll use the chicken sound, but we're going to reduce the volume so it's not annoying. So if you like the chicken sound, you're going to hear it occasionally, but not all the time. And if you don't like the chicken sound, don't worry because we're going to make the volume low enough that it sounds a little bit more like a regular sensor bleep instead of a kind of a funky chicken beep. All right, some more questions. Um, Well, is the show going to end? Well, I suppose eventually, but not anytime soon. We have a very long story arc for the show, and these are things that... Uh, there, I did it again. These are things that we have talked about well, even after we did the first couple of episodes, but we never took it seriously. But now that, you know, 1,500 of, of you take it seriously, uh, we are uh, re-examining all that, and we have a definite... Uh, story arc that we're going to use and exploit and continue to oh now look at that see I told you this was a cool texture pack maybe if I stop talking and start building you can see a little bit more of it but there we go check that out not bad huh oh hey guys howdy neighbor need some sunscreen well you're going to let me go over there and collect those feathers hurry up and burn up dude anyway um oh look at that round sun what a novel idea but every of course, everybody of course knows the sun is a cube I really like this texture pack. So anyway, um, I think that pretty much does it for this video. Uh, I can have more kind of question and question answering type videos if you guys want them, and I could do a little more single player exploration on a map like this. Um, I'm just not sure, you know. Again, if you guys think this kind of video is interesting or useful, or if it sucks and it's lame. Perhaps my gameplay is a little bit on the lame side, but uh, and again, you know, that's kind of an answer to yet another question, which is, um, you know, hey, don't you know you can X Y Z? And chances are we do, but we want the show to be funny, and and typically Dad being kind of the foil on the show, he's kind of the the buffoon, uh, which I seem to play pretty well. I I know it's a stretch, but uh, Dad. Um, uh, the character knows less about Minecraft than Dad, the actor. I think, I think we can safely say that. Now, how much exactly? I will leave that up to you to decide. Perhaps there's a little bit more of the character in me than I would like to admit, but for now, we'll just say it's superb acting. And actually, you know, this little place I built here is not looking so bad. I have to say, in the old school version of the game, before charcoal, you really did have to bust your butt and get out there and find coal. And you know, right now, I could care less where coal is, because I've got it easy. Hey, Mr. Creeper. So I'll probably close the video now, and just by saying, and you've heard us say it before, thanks a lot. Um, we never really thought we'd have uh, 1,500 subscribers in, I don't know, less than two months, and uh, a quarter million views, and um, people really enjoying the show. So we'll be doing a lot more with it, and you'll be the first to know because you'll be watching, hopefully. So tell a friend, uh, and you know what? Don't just tell any friend. Tell a friend that's going to like the show. We really to be honest, would prefer, I know this may sound a little weird, maybe we're new to YouTube, but frankly, we would prefer that the show stay in the purview of, uh, or in the realm of just those people who like it. 
we don't necessarily want to expose the show to uh, just any old troll or or uh, someone who might not care for the show. So um, if you like the show, great. If you know a friend who would like the show, tell them about it. But if not, that's not a big deal. Just keep watching and keep enjoying. And that's what we're going to do is, I don't know, keep playing Minecraft and keep filming it. And thanks. <laughs>